You know, lately it seems like we're always talking about gaming's toxicity problem. Yeah, that's right, toxic behaviour seems to be the new hotness in gaming at the moment, and we've covered everything from Overwatch trolls to internet personalities in the last few months. But this time around, it's an actual games developer that had some bile to spew out online. Could say he caused a riot. You could, you could say that. Aaron Rutledge, an employee at League of Legends creators Riot Games, has left the company after making some questionable comments about a streamer called Tyler Wan. Tyler Wan is known for being one of the most abrasive players in League of Legends. The streamer has something of a reputation for trolling, abusing in-game chat, and generally making life difficult for people who just want to enjoy the game. But in recent months, Tyler Wan says he's seen the error of his ways and says he's reformed, but Rutledge apparently remained unconvinced. Rutledge, who goes by the handle Riot Sanjuro, lashed out at Tyler Wan in a Discord chat recently where he threw out some insults and threats. Some of the comments included, quote, looks like a damn homunculus, and honestly, it's fine. He'll die from a coke overdose or testicular cancer from all the steroids. Then we'll be Gucci. And the, then we'll be Gucci. I, I, I was, I was going to say, like, I mean, does he, does steroids cause cancer? I mean, I was, I was going to pick that apart with it, and then it's like, how, how nasty has it been? And then he said, then we'll be Gucci. And it was like, well, say no more. I mean, he could have said, then we'll be Gucci. And I think he deserves a, the sack for that. I don't you know what he means. What the <laughs> is that? <laughs> Gucci. Then we'll be a fashion label? What? <laughs> When other members of the Discord chat questioned Rutledge about his outburst, he said, You know how much bullshit he's caused me, personally? I've spent many, many hours of my workday dealing with his bullshit. He's had over 20 accounts permabanned. What kind of sociopath does that? He only does it for the views and the percentage dollar. <laughs> <laughs> the percentage dollar. But when images of the Discord chat found their way online, Rutledge deleted his social media accounts and issued an apology to Tyler. In a statement on Reddit, Rutledge said, Reddit, League players, Tyler. I displayed a gross error in judgment last night and wholeheartedly apologised for my comments. They were out of line, and not what any of you deserve to hear, especially from a rioter. I'll be taking time away from Reddit, Discord and in-game chat to reflect on how I communicate with players. Sorry again for the insults and the language. More time than he was banking on, probably. Damn! In response to the statement, Tyler took to Twitter to share a few of his own thoughts, and he tweeted, it really sucks that some people still hold a massive grudge versus old T1 and refuse to acknowledge that I've changed. Why not go the whole hog and just say that T1's changed, or now he's T2 or something? Refer to himself in the third person and then the first person in the very same yeah. sentence. Yeah. Why only be a bit of a bell end in other words? <laughs> and why, why not T2? Because it's like, it's like the Terminator, isn't it? That's too much, that's too much. Nah, it's over his head, that, isn't it? It's just... With that being said, I have no hard feelings towards the guy. Shit happens. Then later on in a video update, Tyler denied the accusations of drug abuse, saying he's never taken any drugs in his life. He said, I do not do steroids. I have never taken any kind of drugs like that. I don't do cocaine. I do not drink alcohol. I do not drink soda. I don't do any of that. None of it. Never have. Never will. I haven't drunk a soda since eighth grade. I do not have cancer in my nutsack. I never will, hopefully. That's just... A gem. Just, just the fact. Don't drink soda. I don't do coke. He's never. I don't have cancer. He has never had cancer in his nutsack, you guys. I'm getting confused with all this. So Rutledge is the guy who was calling out Tyler One. There's so many big characters in this. Two of them. <laughs> um, so R Rutledge is, is kind of lost his job, I guess, now. He's not working at Riot anymore, so... According to his LinkedIn page, yeah. he no longer works at Riot Games. So, so it's, it's, yeah. looks like he's got the sack. Has he been fired? Is it, was it some kind of, uh, you better go, and then him, him going, yeah, that's right, I'm going to go. You know, it's that how these arrangements go He just wanted time out from his Discord and stuff. You yeah. know, he just wanted yeah. some time out. Well, if you want time out, just, just go work to, somewhere else where yeah. you're not such a bell end. He doesn't want to deal with the nutsack guy. So it, it's <laughs> um, it's a strange story, this, because it's like someone who's working at a developer, they've kind of got a responsibility to be professional, and yet he is uh, immersed in the community as well. So he's exposed to this guy a lot, and this Tyler guy, he's obviously created a lot of hassle for him. He's a, a huge headache for him, and he's, you know, 20 banned accounts if, if Rutledge is to be believed. So Tyler's been banned 20 times and just you know creates new accounts and that's part of his thing, like that's part of his appeal. Rutledge's main uh, complaint is that he's like, he's making a business out of this. He's making a living out of being a knobhead. And he was just kind of calling him out for that, I guess. And uh, in a very, very vicious and like, I hope he dies kind of way, yeah. which is just, you know, it's, it's uh, sorry, sorry state of the internet these days is if you really want to show how angry you are, you wish death on someone. 
and uh, that's, he's, he's kind of done it in a very vicious way, I suppose. I and mean, if you strip all the comedy out of this, this guy wrote just taking it far too personally. I mean, at the end of the day, he's paid to do a job. It's part of his job to do community management, right? That's your job, dude. That's what you're getting paid to do. It's, it's a profession. You should be professional about it. Don't get personal about it and don't start wishing any bad things on him. That can be a great lesson for everybody, Mag. Don't take everything so personal. Just be professional about it and, you know, we'll all be Gucci. So there you go, believe it or not, that was your gaming news for today. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. There's another video right there, which you can watch right now, and there's a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.